Less than 24 hours ago, Jason Somerville asked if I wanted to play a high-stakes poker game. I said, yeah, sure, when? He said, um, tomorrow. And I was like, buddy, what the f***? Jason would love to. One problem. I'm in Dallas, Texas. The game's in Las Vegas. How the fuck am I gonna get there? He's like, buddy, calm down. Flight, hotel, transportation, all paid for. Get your ass over here. And I was like, mmm. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Next thing I know, I pack all my sh take my money, and we're off to Vegas. Fort Worth is the most bipolar airport that I've ever been to in my entire life. Either security takes 30 seconds or 30 minutes. <laughs> I carry creatine in my backpack and pre-workout. They either think I'm a squeaky clean kid going off to college or a Coke dealer smuggling kilos. Let's not miss this flight. I stayed up all night editing. I have not slept in 24 hours, and I'm about to play the biggest game of my life in three hours. <sighs> I've slept for maybe an hour and a half. The last thing I want to do is gamble my net worth in an uncapped 510 game. Yeah, no, I'd probably rather win 5,000 and sleep for four hours. I'm tripping. I'm gonna go to Studio 52. I just I'm from Boston, so oh, could never yeah, be. I was about to say, man, you're not cold. It's <laughs> <laughs> nothing to you, huh? Hello. Do whatever you need to do for 30 minutes, approximately, and then. We're gonna try to be live at 415. Perfect. Great content. You wanna film Jason Summerville carrying your suitcase to your room? Yeah, this is what the people want. This is it. This is what we live for. Oh my god, this place is beautiful. So this is your room for uh, the evening? For the better part of 32 minutes. If I don't see your face in 31 minutes, I'll be knocking on the door. Please do. I will probably be far asleep. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Yo, what's good, party people? We made it to Poker Night in America. I don't know how, but we are currently in Las Vegas. What the f is going on? Let's do a little room tour, shall we? We got a bed, a chandelier that costs more than my net worth, light stamp, light stamp, lamp, lamp stand. I'm going to sleep. I didn't even notice the backyard. What the f How much does this place cost? Now you might be wondering the stakes. 510 uncapped. There's no good way for me to say this. The buy-in tonight is probably five to 10,000. I'm running on two hours of middle seat economy row 19B sleep. My ego just couldn't let me say no. I said, what, they study? Nerds, I'll beat them, I don't care. This is the first time all series where I am genuinely concerned that I might go broke. Before that happens, I'm gonna try to get at least like 20 minutes of shut eye. If I'm gonna go bankrupt, at least I'm gonna be comfortable. Officially slept for zero minutes. Hello. Oh, hello. Uh, my name is Cole. Hi, Corey. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna ask you two questions really quick, if that's cool. Yeah, sure. Let's okay, rip it. Before you buy it. I feel like I'm on Survivor when they take them off to like the rocks. At the little isolated interview. That's like that, yeah. <laughs> Do you know any of the players? I looked at the lineup. I saw Landon Tice, and he has he's an absolute crusher. And so I said, okay, I need to get in this lineup right now. That's probably the best financial decision I can make at this time. Okay, thank you. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, cool. It's five ten. For now. For now. Yeah, that's how they get you. And what did you want to buy him for? I'll come in for five. Okay, and what do you want to sit with? I'll sit with five. You want to sit with five? Yeah. Okay, if you want to just have a seat, I'll bring your chips over to you, okay? All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I just won money while we were here. Wonderful. Lucky seat? Lucky seat, Lucky yes. yes. I like yes. the sound of that. We sit down in what is easily the biggest game in this series to date. We're playing six-handed 5-10. The lineup is full of multi-millionaires who have made their living from poker. They are f***ing crushers.
and I decided to play against them with my net worth of less than 10000 I'm a poker player, not a financial advisor. I wouldn't recommend this. Let's go. I looked around. Everyone was in for 3000 So I was like, all right, I'm actually going to come in for three. I didn't want to look like a fish out of water. We have 3000 on the table, 2000 in reserve, $5,000 for bullet two, which hopefully we don't have to touch. I'm not joking. The very first shuffle of the night, under the gun opens to $30. Land and Tice on the button, three bets to 100 The small blind, four bets to 325 Under the gun jams all in for $1,500. And the small blind calls. The small blind has pocket nines. Under the gun is king five offsuit. I'm baffled. I look like a six-year-old in a candy store. What game am I in right now? You can see it in my eyes. I'm like, what the f is going on right now? Landon's confused. He's like, what the f is going on right now? The crazy thing is, these guys are very, very good. They play 200, 400 with hundreds of thousands of dollars. I guess this game is so small that they genuinely don't care. That's fine by me. Let's try to play good. After around 15 minutes, we look down at 10 of clubs. MJ opens to $25. I'm like, sure, pal. I saw what you just did last hand. I make it 100. Shireen calls. MJ does as well. Who would have saw that coming? Three ways to a flop. We make a pair. It's kind of all you can ask for. MJ checks. I don't really want to blow this pot up. I decide to check. Shireen bets $100. Wow, how, how good is your hand? <laughs> Turn card seems irrelevant. Just like Brock Purdy's nickname, who happened to lose the Super Bowl, and I had $100 on the Chiefs. Action goes check, check. River goes check, check. We have a pair. She doesn't. Give me the pot. I got three bet with the 10-8. All right, that's it, guys. Four bet, full effect. Within an hour, we are up over $1,000. <sighs> Until this hand. The cutoff raises the $30. MJ calls. I defend with Ace-2 soft suit. I'm starting to feel like Elon Musk's... Not as... Not his cousin, not a family member, more like a secretary. I'm just seeing a lot of rockets, you know what I mean? MJ and I check. The original Razor bets $35. MJ folds. We have top pair with no kicker. I'm going to call. Turn card is another 10. I decide to check. This guy does not. He bets $125. We still have top pair, no kicker. I don't want to fold. I don't want to raise. That makes our life pretty simple. I decide to call. As you can see, we need to avoid anything but an eight or a spade. <sighs> Fuck it, why not give them both? I decided to check. This guy bets $375. At this point, what are we beating? I just snap fold. <clears throat> we win a few more small pots. We are up $1,000 once again. I feel like Muhammad Ali bobbing and weaving with my net worth. This is insane. All right, we're gonna spice it up a notch. The cutoff opens to $25. MJ calls. I'm in the small blind with ace eight of clubs. I think Maria could open quite wide in the cutoff and MJ, God bless his soul. I decided to bump it up to $150. Maria ends up calling, so does MJ. Three ways to a flop. I genuinely might apply to be Elon's assistant. I bet $150. Maria calls. MJ calls as well. She has jacked in offsuit. She has a pair of jacks and... What the hell? I guess the... Okay, I guess we're just giving the opponents every card they need today? That works. I decide to slow down and check. Maria bets $400. <sighs> we still have top pair. But I'm him, so I snap hold. Not even a fucking problem! Let's go! And here comes the hand of the night. This guy makes it 125. The button raises to 400 and the small blind calls. Action's on me and I have pocket jacks. Do I just call? Do I raise again? Yeah, fuck it. Let's light our net worth on fire. I form it to 1500. She goes all in. This guy calls. Yeah, why not? Oh my God. These guys are having the jolliest time of their life. And I'm over here sick to my stomach. <sighs> There's so much money in the middle. I have to call 1500 to win $8,000. This guy seems to be a billionaire. He's wiping his ass with Benjamin Franklin, so he's in there with any two cards. And if she has ace-king, I am going to throw up all over the table. I flickin' the call. She has pocket aces. Fuck! We're running it twice. We need to flop a jack. Nope. After this turn card, I'm like, my mom was right. I should have gone to college. 
There is one card to come. If it's anything but a jack, we lose half the pot, which is over $4,000. We have a 5% chance to win this hand. Dealer! One jack! Or not. All right, that's not good. Off to the second board. We flop top set, but this guy flops a flush. The turn card is a brick. We need the board to pair. We're down to one last card. If we lose this, we're going to have to reach into the reserve. Does anybody have a bucket where I can throw up? No? All right, you guys just take my chips. I'll go f myself. That's cool. That one hurts. It's like I just wanted to fold. Oh my god. That one hurts so much. That one hurts so, so, so much. Well, stream is not over. And our net worth is now down to 6k. This, I need 2k for tomorrow's buy in, so I can't use this. Here's 5k. We can't touch this because that is tomorrow's buy in. So worst case scenario, we're gonna be down to $2,000.